Hello and welcome to another episode of A Day in My Life. If you can, try and watch the whole way through because there are lots of very exciting surprises in today's video. Okay, so firstly, we are going for a very special morning with my team off to Peggy Portion on the King's Road. So I, I quite like to take us out of the office environment um, because, you know, it can get very repetitive being in the office all day. So it's quite nice to be able to have a change of scenery and move somewhere new. So this morning we are going to Peggy Portion, which is on the King's Road. So not very far from the office, uh, which is quite convenient and so yummy. It can be a little bit tricky to be going through your notes um, and talk over breakfast because obviously it's got to be in between the actual eating but it does work and it is important. I guess all in all other than being good for business, good for a different perspective, it also lifts morale and you know energizes everyone for either the rest of the week or the end of the week. Okay, so next and excitingly, I am taking you into a new project that we've been working on. It is a full renovation. So we're doing a full strip out of everything in this property. And then we will be doing with the contractor, the interior architecture, as well as a full furnished project. So it really is an A to Z project from start to finish. What's really lovely about this particular project is the actual building itself is exquisite. It's a very, very special, authentic building. This was an old school in Chelsea. It's a really stunning place and we're really lucky to be able to work in here. But also, um, my client is actually wonderful, so it just is a double joy for me and I'm really excited to be taking you around. There is a lot to do in this project. I mean, as you see it at the moment, it's all been stripped out and it looks pretty full on and pretty destructive, frankly, if you were to walk in here. To me, this is one of the most exciting parts of the project. To see it like this just gives me a vision of what it's about to become. Lots of people can't really visualize at this stage because you know all they see is rubble and destruction. But for me, this is where the kind of meat of the project is, You know where I can see what's about to happen and what's about to come alive. So it really is an exciting place for me to be. It's a really great opportunity when you've got somewhere like this to be able to have a setup within the property. So if you can or your contractor can, it's great to be able to have a little desk area, be it, albeit that that might be quite messy and, you know, quite hectic even. It's great to be able to set up somewhere like this. Now, we're very, very lucky because in this particular room, which is one of the nicest rooms in the home, it's just such a stunning place to be. So even amongst the rubble, we are very happy to be working here. Okay, so this is the master and we're doing a lot of work in here and changing a lot around. So I'll just take you through. So all of this is actually coming out. Um, there is a dressing room in here, which I don't know if you can see, but it really is quite small. So if you can imagine having the wardrobes out here, it would have left the lady of the house with a very small um, area to get dressed in. So I've decided to knock the whole thing out and to do something completely different. The light is coming through there and it's such a beautiful um, sort of vision when you walk in to see these really gorgeous windows. But of course that's also where you want to be changing. So what we've done is we've decided rather than have the headboard right at the back by the window, which frankly wouldn't make for a really gorgeous headboard anyway, we've brought the headboard um, and brought it out to sort of around here to start here um, and, th and therefore we've created you know this space that you can have this lovely headboard and see back to the windows so they're not blocking the windows and behind the headboard you end up having this really gorgeous sort of u-shaped dressing room and it's absolutely massive so it's going to be flooded with light but it's also really really large um, and I think that works really well. The client loved the idea. She found it difficult to visualize at first, but I think we will get there. And um, it's a really, I think, clever way to be able to dress well, have a full-size headboard, 
and you know have lots of light shining through your dressing room and this is the master bathroom so we are going to have some stunning onyx in here it's really beautiful i think we've got a rose onyx in here um, and we're having it all throughout the shower which is actually a surprise to the client because um, we were only going to do onyx in some places dispersed but i know she really wanted it in the shower area and it happens that I've been able to negotiate such a good price that I've been able to fit in her onyx in the shower, so I can't wait to show her. And over here we had the double vanity, which uh, we're now going to have just one big, um, one big vanity area, and this is solely going to be used for her. Her husband will be um, will be using a bathroom in a different space, so she can really just have one big. Um, sink and a really lovely vanity in here and the bath is going to be over here with again some onyx at the bottom so it is onyx central in here okay so over here is actually a bedroom that we are turning into a study room and it's a very small space so what you tend to find with very small spaces is actually the more furniture you have and the moment you start building the furniture into the space the bigger the space looks. So have a look at it now and see what you think after. So it's a very bright room, but it's a very small space. So even if this were to be a bedroom, it would still be quite small. Now we're going to have joinery all across these walls here, and then a really beautiful desk just in front. So this will be a really gorgeous study area and very masculine. You can have a look at what this bathroom is now and what it will become later. It is going to be fantastic. We've got some really gorgeous gray marble coming in here. Um, I think it's a gray and white mix and um, the, our client um, loves to have really luxurious looking bathrooms. And you know, this was really quite a small bathroom before, not just in terms of size, but in terms of the actual furniture they put in there. And now we're gonna sort of try and double up on everything and make everything bigger within that same space to create a bigger feel. I'm glad they haven't taken this apart yet because you can see that it is quite basic in terms of you know the tiles that you've got in here. And I mean this vanity is just minute. So you know it doesn't feel luxury uh, to me and we are going to change that. There's nothing wrong with this bathroom, it's very elegant and you know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but it doesn't give you that sort of rich, glamorous, luxurious feel and we are definitely going to completely transform it. So you can see everywhere that you've got these really stunning big arches in this home and what we're gonna to do to one of the arches, and in fact, it's in this sort of entrance area out here. So this is this large, gorgeous arch here, and we are going to be building in um, these really beautiful bronze frame doors just to kind of bring out this arch even more because the client loves arches, I love arches, and so we really wanna emphasize the arches in the space. There's another arch over here um, on this wall which um, has a really nice natural niche and what we're going to do with this is actually build in some joinery and again that joinery will serve to emphasize that arch again. Downstairs is just flooded with light and this is going to be my wonderful client's study area. The views out here are absolutely stunning. You can see that you're looking onto this lovely church and a tennis court. This is actually um, a building that used to be an old school, so it really um, has this very authentic, rustic feel to it and it has been refurbished and renewed to a really high standard, so it's an absolutely gorgeous building. Okay, so this here is the fabulous living room. Now you can see you have this massive space, lots of windows, really high ceilings, just lovely airy feel to this space and it is just a pleasure to design something like this. Um, we've got all of these windows lined up which really pull all the light in. This where I'm standing here will be a really gorgeous dining table area and dining area and we'll have a sideboard back there with some artwork um, shining on top and all the way to the other side will be 
all of the furniture and an incredible unit that we've built with, you know, a spectacular fireplace that I really can't wait for you to see. Um, at the moment, this serves as our contractor and our kind of design and working space. So we will come here when we have any issues or when we want to catch up about um, some of the construction work. We do tend to like to be on site quite a lot. So um, it's important that we have a little mini plastic set up um, for us over here. Um, so we get a chance to actually work on things. And when you have a property as beautiful as this, it's such a lovely place to be able to have a working space. Okay, so that concludes my morning walk around this really gorgeous site and I'm really looking forward to actually getting it finished and showing you more progress shots um, so you can see what this will really turn into. Okay, so next I actually realized that I had very, very little time then to get to a talk that I was going to be doing. I was asked to do a talk with Luma on the King's Road about the spirit of collaboration. Some of you will know that I have a rug collection that I've designed with Luma. And so it was really exciting to be able to walk in um, and participate in the Chelsea Design Quarter talks. So this was an exciting offer for me to have, but I just realized I didn't have very much time. So I ran off with my videographer and we have rushed to the King's Road to actually pop into a shop and get a very, very quick change of clothes because I need to be at this talk very quickly and wouldn't have had time to go home and change. Most people think that I've got used to doing this. I never get used to doing this. I am always incredibly nervous for the first five seconds. And then I just start to enjoy myself and enjoy um, talking to people and just being in an environment where people are so creative and are so positive and supportive. So it ended up being a really lovely experience. It was a lovely talk. The showroom looked beautiful. And I was just really happy to have done it. So I guess it wouldn't be fun unless I took you through and discussed a little bit about what we actually discussed at the talk. And part of what interests me about real collaboration is the ability of an idea to actually be able to grow. Now, I think it's, you know, one thing to have an idea and to try and build on that idea. And I think it's such an interesting concept and of course some of the greatest things in the world have been created with single ideas coming from single people but in order to really build on those ideas you must collaborate you've got to collaborate and most interestingly is that i find although we're using this word nowadays as though it's something new in actual fact we collaborate every day everywhere in every place you know, I only have a company because I'm able to collaborate with other people, other suppliers, staff members, clients. These are all collaborations. So in actual fact, I think what interests me most is that collaboration is really a part of living and a part of life. And so it's a natural thing to be able to do it. And the more you do it, the stronger and the more developed your ideas become. I think with technology and the world pulling us further apart from each other, in actual fact, collaboration is almost the way we're coming back to meet on the other end. And I think it's one of the most natural things to do. And I think that is the power of human nature and the power of growth. Right, so although it's quite late, I've already done my talk, I did arrange to do a wreath making session with my team today. Now, we are only in November, but to be honest, it's really important to try and fit in those team building exercises now because it does get crazy in December, as I'm sure most of you know. So, we are doing today's wreath making session with Shilpa Ready Flower Design. And Shilpa was really wonderful. In fact, before coming, we decided that we wanted to all do rustic chic wreaths. So we had to decide between the team who was going to be doing what kind of wreath. And we managed to um, all finally come to an agreement on the colors and the flowers we, we were going to be using. So Shilpa's brought those to us and it was such a fun, 
actually calming exercise to do together. So it wasn't one of those team building exercise exercises which require lots of energy. It was actually quite a nice thing to do in the afternoon. I think we were all quite relaxed and everyone really enjoyed it and I think went home feeling really buzzed but comforted and relaxed which in a very hectic business like ours and in a very hectic design world, it's quite nice sometimes to go home and feel like you've had a really relaxing day. And I think most excitingly, everyone managed to take a wreath home and stick it on their door. Mine is still up. I don't know how long it will last, but it certainly looks stunning. I might have been feeling slightly more competitive and being everyone's boss, um, it was quite nice to um, make sure they knew that I was feeling quite competitive, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I actually have to say, the girls' wreaths were probably, they might have even been nicer than mine, but that was nice. Wreath making is not always a competition. I got to keep reminding myself that it's not a competition. It was not a competition. <laughs> My wreath was the best. You know, um, mine was more, I was, I was gonna say more simple in color, but then I think they all use the same color, so maybe not. Um, it was just better because it was mine, no, I'm joking. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and I will see you very soon.